And on this Independence Day, people are on the road traveling to and from their destinations. 22 News reporter Kiara Smith is live here in the studio tonight with what the roads are looking like for the holiday, Kiara. Well, 4th of July celebrations are happening across the country today, and many Americans are out and about taking part in festivities. Earlier this week, 22 News spoke with AAA, and they projected that 50.7 million Americans would be traveling at least 50 miles for Independence Day weekend, as some people are off from work for the holiday. They say the best time to travel today is after 6 p.m. Once the 4th of July festivities die down later tonight, AAA says your best bet is to hit the road before 2 p.m. on Wednesday. And gas prices are also well below what we were paying last year. The national average for a gallon of regular is around $3.50. That's down from nearly $5 this time last year. And for those traveling by plane, TSA expects to screen nearly 18 million people between June 29th and tomorrow, July 5th. Many airlines are still recovering after being forced to cancel or delay thousands of flights last week due to the weather. Working for you live in the studio, Kiara Smith, 22 News.